Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here. I have been working on some content all day. I am completely exhausted. I think I tried on 50 different outfits just for one TikTok. Let me know if somebody out there has gone through that because I'm drained. I would love to sleep right now. So that's why I decided to put on this camera because what I wanted to show you guys is the most important part of my nighttime routine when it comes to my twist out, which is the banding method. So I get asked a lot of questions about how I maintain my twist overnight and that is exactly how is through the banding method so i don't know if you guys have seen my previous video the one about my nighttime routine i'll put it right up here go watch her you could say that this is a more brief version of that one i guess and it's also more updated too because we're in the future now <laughs> Um, in reference to that video at least but um, yeah I'm just gonna show you guys how I band my hair and how I'm able to maintain these curls that you see before you come on come on somebody <laughs> like only one Jess would say maybe I'll show you guys a follow-up video by the time the morning comes of how I take the bands out and fluff out my twist out so it looks like this Honestly, it could be fluffed out more, but I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm kind of scared of picking out my hair because my hair can be really stubborn and she does what she wants to do. So I kind of just let her, you know what I mean? But anywho, that's a story for another day. Let's get right into it, shall we? This is how my hair is looking. So this is a little hack that I do in order to get my bangs in my face like this. Because to be honest, the hair at the front falls pretty low. It's like right down to here at the shrinkage level. Um, which means that if I were to stretch it out, it falls like down to here at least. But like at shrinkage, it falls like here. But anywho, that is way too long for bangs, obviously. My little hack is that I put a couple of bobby pins up here, right underneath. See? right underneath those bangs so that I'm kind of pushing it up into my hair so that it can fall at an appropriate level. And then if there's too much in my face, I just take some back just like that. So it's kind of like a cute spaced out bang look, I guess you can say. Cause I, I don't like when the bangs look too concentrated at the front, too crowded, I guess you can say. Kind of like when there's a bit of space in between them, yeah. Let me know if you wanna get more info about that hack, but it's quite easy. But anywho, speaking of the hack, all I gotta do is reverse what I did before. So I'm gonna take out the bobby pins now, obviously. There's one, there's two, three, and there is four. So I had four bobby pins in there. So my hair might still fall at the same level, even though the bobby pins are out, but that is because they were trained all day to stay at that higher level. But trust me, when I take it out in the morning, it's like down to here. See, like that, kind of. So I like to do the banding method on different sections of my hair. So I typically like to put my bangs into one band, if that makes sense. Ugh. That's my little boo messaging me. <laughs> he said, damn, <laughs> damn yourself, boo. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> what you wanna make sure of is that you're not grabbing hair from other sections. I know that's what I'm doing right now, but the only reason I'm doing that is so that I can create a space in between the sections. Obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see, but you just wanna make sure there's no single strands pulling in opposite directions, you know what I mean? You wanna make sure that one section is one section. We're not borrowing from others. So just make sure it's separated enough and then start to band. Okay, so that is one band right there. And then we can work through our hair and put as many bands as will allow. For me, I don't have that many. I really just got these from Dollarama, by the way. Pretty inexpensive. The material's not bad. It's kind of silky now. It doesn't snag at my hair or anything. It's very flexible, so it's easy to wrap around the length of my hair, as you can see. And then I also have these scrunchies which I mentioned to you guys in the previous video. So these are the other ones that I got from Amazon, come in different colors. So you can also use these to band, but they might not go down the entire length of your hair because they're not as stretchy as these, obviously, but you can definitely put two on one. Now we wanna work with the side. So again, we're separating carefully because your hair might wanna intertwine with itself and grab its friends, its little strand friends from other sections, but that's not what we want. No, ma'am. You know what, sometimes these strands are very stubborn, so you can just, oop, just like that. Sometimes for these shorter sections, 
you can put the shorter bands on them. So I, I like to put my scrunchies on them just so I'm not wasting the longer ones. Only reason I say wasting is because I really don't have many of the longer ones. I could have had some more, but you know, if you live in Ontario, you know what's going on right now. There's non-essential items and things that you can't buy. And apparently I can't buy hair bands, so <laughs> I'm stuck with using scrunchies, but scrunchies can do for now, like they're not bad. You see how the scrunchie was able to go all the way down the length? Good enough. You don't need another one on there. One is probably good. Okay, so let's do the other side. We're separating for now. And then we separate the back. Sorry about that little break, guys. But um, let me just show you guys real quick how I did this. Sorry. I kind of started without y'all. My bad. <laughs> when you have your section, right? This is my section. You want to grab it kind of near the root. Get your elastic band. I like to fold it in two. Just like that. So you kind of put it like an eight. Ooh, I don't know if I could do this with one hand. Like an eight and then fold down to double it. Okay, makes sense. So, now you wrap it around the root or close to the root, just like that. So pull your hair through, grab here, and then you're gonna take one piece, only one piece of that hair tie and pull so that you're tightening this one, right? And then you cross it again, like another eight, and you grab the hair through and kind of move it a little down just up here, move that part a little down, and then you put it into another eight. And then you grab the hair right through, put it into another eight, grab it right through, put it into another, just keep doing that all the way down until you get to the bottom. And it is okay if some hair is left out, that's how it's supposed to be. So yeah, pretty much all you do. And then I just got two more sections left. So soon enough, you'll be a pro at this, guys. And honestly, I'm so glad somebody thought of the banding method because I kid you not, during my full first year of being natural, which was 2018, I literally plaited my hair or twisted my hair every single night because I thought that's how you maintain your curls the next day. Can you imagine how exhausted I was? Like, twisting my hair, it was not a quick process. Like, it was always long. I always went to bed late. Like, it was so unhealthy for me, you know what I mean? And then on top of that, that was a lot of manipulation that just didn't need to happen. So I'm glad somebody thought of the banding method because honestly, it eliminated the whole idea of twisting your hair every single night, which literally you don't have to do. So we're kind of just doing the same thing down here. And voila, that is all. So that's it for today, guys. That was the banding method. Not much to it. I just put my bonnet on after this. I don't know where it is, it's probably somewhere in the washroom. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything else to your hair. All you gotta do in the morning is just take out the bands. That's it. And yes, I know I'm wearing the same dress, but just know that I only put it back on because I forgot to record a specific video in that dress. And I changed right out of it right after. So don't think I'm disgusting because I'm not.
case you guys want to see how it comes out in the morning. Oh yeah, you can also put oil on your fingertips before doing this too, in case you want your hair to be a little bit more lubricated, I guess you can say. But yeah, that's how it comes out. Curls are still intact, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I do. Lying flat, just like that. And then you just bend downwards using the same eight method. All right. Then that is all. That's it. That was actually a better job than what I did before. So in case this dies on me before I get to say my outro, I just want to thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to do this at night to maintain your curls. Do not retwist your curls at night. Do not because it is a waste of time and a waste of energy and it's not good for your hair anyway. So just don't do it. So anyways, thanks again guys for watching and always remember natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Bye.